Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Stonebed. It's about that time of year again. And uh, we're actually doing a video today on the rubber snow deflector. So I just picked one up from the Rop Shop, uh, Rugged Outdoor Products. They've got all kinds of stuff for the snow removal business. And uh, this particular one is for my boss V-Plow. They make them for the straight blades too. It's uh, the same kit. Um, so we're actually gonna, you can see it here on the plow. Um, and continue watching because I'm actually going to show you how to install this. Uh, sometimes it can get confusing. It comes with instructions, but uh, sometimes a visual instruction uh, goes a long way. So stay tuned. To get started, uh, you're going to need to find a spot to roll out the rubber. It would be a good idea to possibly do this a couple hours or the night before because the, the rubber comes coiled up in a roll and it kind of holds that position. So the longer that you can have it spread out like this, it kind of flattens out and makes it easier to cut. So the instruction sheet is included, which shows all the dimensions to cut to for your particular plow. With the V-plows, it's not a straight cut, so it's going to be an angled cut. So it gives you both dimension that you mark each side of the rubber with, and then you'll be cutting an angled cut. Now I'm just using a straight edge and a razor blade once I've marked the areas with a marker. Now this is thick rubber so you may have to go quite a few times to actually cut all the way through the rubber. So after you get the first one cut, you're going to need a second one that's the same exact size. And the way I did this was just by taking my first piece and laying it back on top of the piece of rubber to get the correct size. Uh, you don't have to do it this way. You could remeasure um, your second piece and cut it exactly the same way, but I just thought it would be quicker to just flip it on and cut it that way. So there are four metal straps that two of them need to be cut on an angle for the inside corners of the V-plow. The correct dimensions to cut those two are in the instruction sheet. Now what I did is I actually pre-cut these the night before and then I painted the edges black because I didn't want open metal to be rusting out. You do not have to do this step, it's not in the instructions, it's just something additional that I wanted to do. Okay, next we're going to clamp everything in place. Now, this is more difficult to do on your own, so if you have somebody to help you with this to hold stuff, it'd probably go a lot quicker, but uh, I was able to get it on my own. It just took a little bit longer to get everything lined up. This step is important because the next step after this is going to be where you drill your holes and that's where your thing is going to be mounted. So you want to make sure you have everything in the right position on this step. So once you have everything clamped, you can proceed with drilling the holes. Now I'd recommend to oil your drill bit with either some drilling oil or lubricating oil just uh, to make the drilling process a little easier and well, it'll help your drill bit last a lot longer. So once your holes are all drilled, then you can go ahead and put your hardware in place. Put your nuts, bolts, and washers all in and secure everything. And then once everything is secured, you can remove your clamps and then repeat the process on the other side. Now we're going to install the center rubber piece, but before we can do that, we have to mark and drill a hole in the center metal piece of the plow. 
So once we've drilled our hole, now we need to drill a hole in the center rubber piece. And the dimensions as far as where is you where you drill your hole is in the instruction sheet. So next we have to drill a hole in the rubber center piece. Now once we have the hole drilled in the center rubber piece, we can put our um, self-tapping screw in. Now once that's in, we want to take the corners of the center rubber piece on the back side of the plow and cut off those corners so that they don't get caught up in the springs, the return springs of the plow. Now we want to attach our center rubber piece to the side rubber pieces. In order to do that, we need to clamp it in place before we drill our holes. Uh, one important thing to remember with this is that when we clamp it, we want to actually turn the truck on and move the plow into the various positions to make sure that there's enough slack in the center piece so that it has full range of motion. So once you've ran the plow through its various positions and verified that the center rubber piece is not too tight, you can now drill your holes in the rubber. Once you've drilled the holes, you can now insert your nuts and bolts to secure the center strap to the side straps. And once you're finished, it should look something like this. Now this last step is purely for aesthetics. We're actually gonna cut off the extra rubber on both side flaps to make it look a little better in the center. All right, well, there you go. We got it all installed. It looks beautiful on the plow. Um, if you want one for your plow, go to the Rop Shop website. It's on the screen right now. And remember, for all things snow plowing, subscribe to the Snowman YouTube channel. We also have a new channel called Snowman Garage, so maybe go over and subscribe to that as well. Thanks for watching. I see what it is. See me rolling with my V plow. <laughs> Get it, baby. Okay.